Hello, Hi, this is, this is Alex Winks presenting Input Mapper. The dark side of the force is strong in input handling. Different OS's handled input differently even same controller, meaning identical hardware and communication protocol, will be handled differently by different OS's, at least cause of difference in byte order. OS can have multiply ways of handling input, like in Windows, Windows Multimedia Direct Input X Input, even same OS, but different version have differences towards handling input. Things get even more complicated when we come to that add remove notification and inputs are asynchronous, interrupt based, and Unity is synchronous mono threading engine. Ultimate game engine is game engine with ultimate input handling system. As developer I wonder what will be on player joystick 10, axis 12, and button 0? As player, should I need to restart the game if I want to change input settings? Go, go. But basically, we really love hearing from you guys. Basically, we have record here. 1661. Someone isn't hearing for six years since feedback system and long before that. It's good that they ultimately plan to do it. Until you let me, day, let's see what we can do about automation of the whole process. Let open the input mapper editor and create state, wave, remember, vertical horizontal fire 1 fire 2 and so on from original input manager, map connected inputs by clicking buttons and moving axes. Create combos easily, for example left control hold, plus H, or joystick X positive double click, plus joystick button, or combine devices. Let add more states like walk forward and walk backward. This way we have created default input settings, but for creating input settings for specific device we need to create layout profile. Open device profiling editor. You can assign existing or new profile to connected device. Generic name would be displayed by click a button or move an axis. Then you can edit it to give player friendly name. X, Y, left stick, right trigger. Profiles are saved in asset and there is asset editor where you can add, remove, or edit profile for designated OS. You can assign more devices to same profile by entering there's vendor product IDs. After creating profile we can use it for creation of input settings for the device. If there is profile for connected device it will exist as option in drop down list. You can clone default input setting to custom device input settings and then edit differences. While mapping with Xbox controller, we can see that its layout is used, so instead of generic joystick button, Y is shown. You can input settings for more than one player. You can clone any player to other and then edit differences.
Input settings are exported as XML or binary. State CS file is generated for easy access. Let's set up input handling inside scene in 5 minutes. Drag and drop input component with required user interface window component on the game world and player component on the characters. Now add listener to input settings on load event. Let's see how the developer handle input behind the scene. Developer handle states without care what is mapped to them. He decides how to handle input, digital or analog, no matter the form of real input, Go, go. Default input settings are using input from any attached controller. Attached device can be assigned to player. Custom input settings for recognized device are automatically loaded. Instead of overcrowding of update loop, you can use player component events. You can support special device properties, like force feedback. Infrared pointer, accelerators, gyros with high-level drivers. Like or dislike but feedback. May the force be with you.